WWDC 2022 is jam-packed with a ton of new tech, changes, and updates coming to Apple's lineup. To make it super easy for you to know exactly what's coming to iOS 16, watchOS 9, a new M2 chip, and so much more, we've rounded up the biggest and most important news that came out of this year's keynote. Let's jump right in. First up, iOS 16 is coming this fall, and it has some big changes, including the lock screen. We're all used to the same old screen. Everyone just might have a different background photo, but that will change with iOS 16. You'll be able to customize the font, add widgets of your choice, change the color tone, and more. Another big change, notifications are going to populate from the bottom of the screen, leaving more real estate to see and enjoy your new personalized lock screen design. And I know you're all worried about what's coming to messages. Well, some big changes. You will now have the power to edit and undo sent messages. That's crazy, right? Twitter, take note. You may have heard of the M1 chip, and I'm sure you have, and how impressive it is. So hold on to your seats. We are going to see a new M2 chip. The M2 chip is coming to the new MacBook Air and the 13-inch MacBook Pro. The M2 features an 18% faster CPU, 35% faster GPU, a faster neural engine, and 50% more memory bandwidth than the prior generation. Not only are we seeing the addition of the M2 chip for the MacBook Air, but it's getting a redesign as well. For the first time, the Air is losing its wedge-shaped design and opting for a squared-off configuration similar to the Pro's aesthetic. It'll come in a variety of colors, including silver, space gray, starlight, and midnight. Apple also announced Watch OS 9, which will come with some health changes, some new watch faces, and custom workouts. If you're interested in learning anything about your body and its health metrics, Apple's making it easier than ever to do. You can now view your heart rate zones in the middle of a workout. It'll monitor if you're an AFib and how long you're an AFib, and you can add in what medications you take so that the app can send you reminders so you don't miss a dosage. And after you add those medications in, the app will search for drug interactions that could possibly be dangerous to you, and it will let you know about those dangers. As part of family sharing, up to five members can use iCloud photo sharing to share photos throughout iCloud as they're taken, or it can be set up to be shared when family members are nearby or on a specific date. Each family member has the same permission, so everyone can edit, add, delete, or favorite photos. No more missing out on the family vacation pictures grandma took. If she's in your family sharing group, you'll get to see everything captured from the trip. In a feature aimed to help those in abusive relationships, Apple's unveiling Safety Check. This new feature lets you quickly revoke others' access to your devices and applications. You can stop sharing your location via Find My and reset privacy permissions for all applications. The feature will sign you out of your iCloud account on all devices aside from the one in your hand, and it won't notify others that you've restricted their access, but they may notice that sharing has stopped. While Tap to Pay will see expanded access across more retailers and websites, the tech giant announced the implementation of Apple Pay Later. Apple Pay Later will split the cost of any purchase into four equal payments over six weeks with zero interest. It will be available on most e-commerce platforms, starting with eShopify. Unlike passwords, Apple's passkey uses Touch ID or Face ID to authenticate. Passkeys cannot be fished, shared, or leaked. They're synced across Apple devices and are instantly available on all devices. In Apple's announcement, it was clear that passwords will eventually be phased out and the passkey will be the future of Safari security. Apple has finally found a way to upgrade your webcam without having to buy any additional hardware. Using the continuity camera feature offered in macOS Ventura, your Mac will automatically recognize and use your iPhone as a webcam when it's nearby. You don't even have to wake it up. It brings new video conferencing features to any Mac, including studio light, which is an effect that illuminates a user's face while dimming the background. And of course, we always have to touch on the news that we didn't get that we thought we just might have. There wasn't any news on a Mac Pro or an iMac Pro, but most notably, there wasn't any news around an AR VR headset announcement, despite Bloomberg's report that Apple's headset has been presented to their board recently. It looks like that's something that we're going to have to keep our eye on for later on down the road. 
And that's a wrap. As always, Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference is packed with a ton of information, and this year was no different. To help you sort through when some of these changes will be coming to your iPhone or Mac, or when you could get your hands on the new M2 chip, be sure to stick with ZDNet. Down below, we have links to all of the individual breakouts, as well as in everything announced. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stick with ZDNet for all things Apple and tech. Thank you.